Welcome to Simply Logical. This is Venkatesh. The square of a number is that number multiplied by itself. In this video, I will explain the tricks which can be used to find squares which are nearer to the base numbers. This technique is easy as you hardly need memorize anything and understanding this part is important as you can base it on other such types of squaring methods. Finding the square of a number which is near the base 10, 100, 1000 is an easy task and can be done mentally in no time with a little practice. Just follow the steps carefully which I am going to explain now. In the first step, estimate the difference between the number to be squared from the base 10, 100 or 1000. In the second step, if the difference is positive, add the difference to the number to be squared in case the difference is negative, subtract the difference from the number to be squared. In the third step, square the difference and place it right. The number of digits on the right side will depend upon the number of zeros in the base. For the base 10, the number of digits on the right side should be 1, whereas for the base 100, the number of digits on the right will be 2. In case there are more digits on the right side, Add the extreme left digit of the right side to the number on the left side. Let's understand the technique with some examples. Let's try to find the square of a number 12. So according to the technique, the first we have to identify the nearer base. The base which is nearer to number 12 is 10. First step is to estimate the difference between the number to be squared from the base which in this case is 10. So the difference is 12 minus 10 which is equal to 2. Since the difference is positive, add the difference to the number to be squared. This will become the left part of the solution. In the next step, square the difference and place it right. Since the number is base 10, the number of digits on the right should be 1. Now combine the numbers to get the answer. So the square of 12 is 144. Let's try one more example, that is to find the square of 15. The base which is nearer to number 15 is 10. First step we know that is to estimate the difference between the number to be squared from the base, which in this case is 10. So the difference is 15 minus 10 equals 5. Since the difference is positive again, add the difference to the number to be squared. This will become the left part of the solution. In the next step, square the difference and place it right. Since the number is base 10, the number of digits on the right should be 1. But here, there are two digits on the right side. Add the extreme left digit of the right side to the number on the left side. In this case, 2 should be added to left which results in 22. Now combine the numbers to get the answer. Hence, the square of number 15 is 225. Now consider one more example. Let's find the square of a number 94. The base which is nearer to 94 is 100. First step is estimate the difference between the number to be squared from the base which in this case is 100. So the difference is 94 minus 100 which is equal to minus 6. Since the difference is negative, subtract the difference from the number to be squared. This will become the left part of the solution. And in the next step, square the resulting number and place it right. Since the number is base 100, the number of digits on the right should be 2. Since our base is 100, there should be 2 digits at the right side, which satisfies the condition here. Now combine the numbers to get the answer. Hence, the square of number 94 is 8836. Let's try one more example. Find the square of number 108. The base which is nearer to number 108 is 100. Now the difference is 108 minus 100 which is equal to 8. Since the difference is positive, add the difference to the number to be squared and this will become the left part of the solution. In the next step, square the resulting number and place it right. Since the number is base 100, the number of digits on the right should be 2. Now combine the numbers to get the answer. The square of number 108 is 11664. So what I am trying to do is, 
I am trying to find all different combinations so that there should not be any confusion while finding the square of a number which are nearer to the base numbers. So now consider one more interesting example that is 98. The base which is nearer to number 98 is 100 and the difference is 98 minus 100 equals minus 2. Since the difference is negative, we need to subtract the difference from the number to be squared. And in the next step, square the resulting number and place it right. Since our base is 100, there should be two digits on the right side. But we have only one digit on the right side which is number 4. Hence 4 on the right side is written as 0, 4. Now combine the numbers to get the answer. So the square of 98 is 9604. Now let's consider the final example for this video. Find the square of number 994. The base which is nearer to the number 994 is 1000. And the difference becomes 994 minus 1000 equals minus 6. Here the number is negative, hence subtract the difference from the number to be squared. And this will become the left part of the solution as we already know. And in the next step, square the resulting number and place it right. Since our base is 1000, so there should be 3 digits on the right side. Hence 36 is written as 036. Now combine the numbers to get the answer. So the square of 994 is 988036. If you know this particular trick, finding the square of a number which is near the base 10, 100, 1000 is an easy task and can be done mentally in no time with a little practice. So there are different techniques. So I will be explaining the different techniques in the subsequent videos. That's all for this video. Let me know for any questions I will try to address as soon as possible. Let's meet in the next video. Thank you.